Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in a couple of minutes, so I will pause the recording software for now, and I'll be back as soon as I find a potential opportunity. All right, I'm gonna try for a call here at 155. When I was too slow, I'll leave it out there. I'm trying to buy 155, so I'm watching those numbers. I wanna see them. Drop down to 155 and then see this white line here turn green. White means I'm trying to buy, green means I have been able to buy. Well, and as it goes the opposite direction. Never mind, I'll cancel that out. I am doing options here. If you don't know what options are, just comment below option guide and I will link you to a free class to put together called the big basics of options. It'll walk you through terminology, how they work. Uh, all that give you a good firm foundation that which you can build from. I know sometimes people are intimidated by options. Uh, and they can be made very complicated, don't get me wrong, but they don't have to be made that way. And I approach them in more of a straightforward, simple way. So if that's how you like to approach things, then I can just comment below option guide and I will link you to that class. All right, so that trade did not work out, was uh, got kind of close to maybe filling me, but ultimately went the other direction. So let's see what else I can find. Are you gonna try for a put here at 150? Well, it's close for a second. All right, I will pause. All right, gonna try here at 155. Nope, not filling me. Trying to figure out where 157. Nope. All right. I'll keep a close eye on it. Have an order at 160, in at 160 for a put, and out for $350 on that one. Very good. Again, this was white. Well, let me change the colors of that real quick. That was white, that turned green, and then for a little while that was white, and then when that turned green, the 350 showed up over there, uh, and then that whole trade right there, you can see with the execution time was eight seconds. So you're thinking, well, I, I, I couldn't quite tell, that's fine. It all happened in eight seconds, so if you need to scroll back on the video, that's totally fine. All right, I'll pause, let's see if I can find something else. Am I gonna try for a put here at 167? Nope, did not fill me. Maybe 165? Nope, not filling me. All right, I'll pause. Have an order at 159 here for a call. In at 159, out for $350 on that one. So up 700 on the day. And again, that was white, it turned green. That was white, it turned green. And I'm just going over that because I realized that all happened very fast. That trade, which you can see right there, was all of four seconds. Uh, it is 10.22 and um, actually traded for a little bit while longer than I wanted. I was hoping I could be done in like 30 minutes today. Uh, and with as fast as I got that first trade and that first 15 minutes, I can get another one in the next 15 minutes, did not happen. Uh, so I was hoping to be done after 30 minutes, but all things considered, uh, if I can be done in what was that, uh, 52 minutes. So um, I'll take it, especially when I'm uh, up $700. Not sure of many places in the world where you can make $700 in 52 minutes, uh, but I will take it. And I don't say that to brag. I do say it though to build perspective. I know it's very easy in this world of social media to look around and see huge numbers and then look at your results and think, geez, what am I doing wrong or I'm not very good. But to re let me reframe this, and many of you, you've heard this before, but would you, so let, and let's, let's say that you didn't make, let's say you made $70. So you, so you made $70 in 52 minutes, so less than an hour. Would you ever go up to somebody making minimum wage, making $25 an hour and be like, you know, 
I made 70 bucks in less than an hour. I'm not very happy about it. You would never do that. Why? Because you realize that that would make you look like and sound like an absolute greedy savage from that other person's point of view. So would I ever go up to somebody and say, you know, I, I, I made $700 in less than an hour? Of course not. I would never do that because $700 in, you know, less than an hour, $70 in less than an hour, that, that, that's really actually crazy money if you stop and just think about it. So be very careful about what you see on social media. First, whether or not it's even real, but but even if it is real, we'll just put that other point aside. You know what? Good for that person. I mean, don't be, you know, I mean, there's no need to be, you know, upset or jealous or anything like that. Fantastic for them, but like, don't let that influence your results and have you look at what you've done and then start to second guess it or anything like that. Because even if it was just $70 today, all things considered, especially like I'm sitting here in like some basketball shorts, a, a comfy t-shirt, I'm at home. I mean, it doesn't really get much better than that. So um, just keep that in mind as far as your results are concerned. But yeah, 52 minutes, $700, I will take it. Very grateful for it. Again, if you wanna learn more about options, just comment below option guide and I will link you to that free class. And uh, hopefully I, I can pique your interest in learning more about them. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, gotta, gotta figure out what works best for you. So everybody take care, thanks for watching, have a good one. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.